had this wonderful, rich uh, acting career to look back on, leading classical roles on the stage in both uh, Great Britain and the United States, other major roles for years in movies and television. She'd even written her memoirs. But then Rex Harrison asked her to play his mother in the current revival of My Fair Lady here in the States. She said yes, uh, even though she is now 93 years old. Uh, Miss Nesbitt played that same role in the original American version of My Fair Lady some 25 years ago or more. The play is now touring the United States. It's in New York at the moment, and it's a pleasure to have Kathleen Nesbitt with us. It's a pleasure to meet you, Miss Nesbitt. Seventy years as a professional in this business of show business. At 93, you take on My Fair Lady again. You do eight shows a week, six days a week. Why? I mean, why would you do it? Well, I suppose I'm so used to working that when I'm not working, I just don't quite know what to do with myself. <laughs> How, how does it, get, where do you get the energy? I mean, there are many people who would look at you at half your age or a quarter of your age and say, where does she get the energy? Where do you get it? I don't know. I didn't know that I had it. I sometimes think I'm getting rather wobbly. <laughs> but uh, on the whole, I think I'm, uh, it suits me to work. I've been working for 70 years and uh, I seem to have had very little time to spare. Do I have a family and children and so forth. How did they're so all many, grown up now. <laughs> so many women in recent years particularly talk about uh, the challenge of having both a family, children, and a career with that. Well, of course, in the very early years, I would stop for a while because I always believed that babies should be breastfed. And that was rather... Right. <laughs> because, of course, one wanted every three hours found it fairly easy. Children seem to get on very well. <laughs> when talking about your ability to go out on the stage and your energy, do you, have you changed at all the way you eat, the way you exercise or don't exercise? What are your, your general habits to stay as sharp as you are? Well, I suppose the fact is that having done it for 70 years, uh, it's it sort of become a habit, so that unconsciously I don't quite know if and wh how and when I save myself. But uh, I've, one thing I've always had is lots of energy. Right. <laughs> and I've just had to control it from time to time. <laughs> how do you mean control it from time to time? <laughs> how do you mean control it? Uh, well, uh, in the sense of telling myself that I'm not as strong as I think I am and saying to myself, you must go down and go and lie down and rest before the evening performance, uh, which rather startles me myself and I tell myself that's very wise I must do that <laughs> how uh, when did age become an issue with you when did you start becoming aware of your age and did it mean mean anything to you I think in my late 70s I really didn't be until then but uh, now I do feel when I look at myself in the glass I say to myself, really, it's time you stop showing yourself off. In <laughs> but obviously, everybody disagrees with you. Well, they go on offering me the hearts and who. <laughs> now, what about, what about physically? I understand you, you had some eyesight problems, is that correct? Your 70s, is that right? Uh, I can't remember. Where? That's one thing that one loses after 90 is one's memory. Worse affected, and so I find myself... Uh, completely forgetting things that I really ought to remember. <laughs> what about on the stage? Does it happen when you're on the stage? Touch wood, it hasn't happened. Touch wood everywhere. <laughs> right. It hasn't happened so far. Some strange reason. I don't think I've ever tried. And, and I and still don't. I, and I learn the part very quickly. I mean, learn the words of it, and they, and they don't leave me, thank God. <laughs> what about... How are you doing Mrs. Higgins now differently from the way you did Mrs. Higgins 25 years ago? Any differently? I, I'm not aware of doing it differently, but I think perhaps it's got a little more variety in it than it had. I don't know, but I'm rather hoping. <laughs> Professional, improving on a performance, yes, in other words. Yes, possible. No matter and how I many times you do. Plays it again after not having done it for a long time. One finds things one's missed and one tries to put them back again. <laughs> How about Rex Harrison, now older also, yes. playing Higgins? Well, that's what he said to me when he came to see me and said, would you like to play my mother again? 
And I said, oh, darling, I'm much too old to be your mother. I mean, it's 25 years since he did it. And he said, yes, well, I'm 28 here, five years. <laughs> Is he doing it any diff see difference in his performance? Uh... The, the, the fascinating thing about, about Rex's acting to me is that there are slight differences in practically every performance. I watch him with great joy every night. I have to sit on the stage and wait for my call, you see, listen to him. And I watch him do the thing that he used, I think, to sing it at one time. And now he practically speaks it. I've grown accustomed to her. Find little changes every night and, and it fascinates me. I see his brain is keeping it fresh. <laughs> What do you do next? Are you going to... How long will you do My Fair Lady? As long as it goes, I suppose. Right. If I'm still alive, because I think it's in for a very long run. <laughs> Good. I've got to remember that at my age, <laughs> one never knows what's going to happen next week. <laughs> and you're not going to stop working if you can help it, are you? No. I like it. <laughs> it's a pleasure meeting you, Miss Nesbitt. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.